Good afternoon, fellow Plexers. Do you keep a small 4K library that you may or may not share with friends and family? And are you tired of seeing duplicates and you continue watching because you have the same movie in your normal library and your 4K library? Well, there's an easy fix if you're a Plex Pass user. Um, so, this is a small public domain Plex server I use for examples, um, rather than showing my bigger server. And the, the answer always lies in proper media organization and naming. So let's start with Plex's name and guide for your movie library. Plex always gives good written examples. If you don't see a written example, of how to name a movie in Plex. Well, let's say if you don't see your way of naming a movie as a written example in Plex, chances are you need to clean your um, procedures up. So it's good to be familiar with that guide to start with. The next guide to talk about for a movie library is multi-version movies. And this is where Plex has you use the official separator of a space dash space or a plain period but not a period to replace natural spaces just in this area and you can denote um, one version of the movie from another a 1080p 720p 4k copy if you want them all in your same library and I have some examples of that so if I go to Let's make this full screen. If I go to the movie library, and let's go into the library tab, and let me go to Lady Frankenstein. If I click into it, and then select the three dots, right at the top is play version, and you'll see I have a 15.6 megabit per second bit rate on a 1080p copy and a 2.8 megabit per second bit rate on a 720p copy. Now the way Plex is supposed to work is that the client device is supposed to pick the best version to play for itself. Doesn't always work out and you can choose which version to play easily by going to more play version and selecting it. Now those movies are identical they just have different versions on the server, hence the versioning document. Now, to get rid of the duplicate issue with a 4K library having the same media as a regular one, that involves a Plex Pass solution. And that's where the multiple edition movies comes in, that support document. And there's two ways to tag a movie as a um, different edition than the theatrical release. One way is by naming the media correctly. So, well, this example doesn't show the folder structure for the movie, but it just has two different versions of Blade Runner. And the formula is within curly braces, edition dash whatever the movie edition is, director's cut or final cut. And you really should have the full convention. You should, should have your movies in a folder. Now Plex gives you a whole bunch of different examples to do this. And this is the first written example that Plex uses that shows a plain period replacing the space dash space as the separator. And note again, you don't replace a natural space with a plain period. So you could have your regular Blade Runner movie in just a normal folder called Blade Runner, named simply like this. And then you, you could also have another movie folder with the addition um, label on it. And then this actually shows some multiple versions of that same director's cut edition. This is kind of like mixing both versions and editions. Um, so you'll see this is the versioning, and it shows the codec information versus this one. 
and now they're also mis mixing in 4k versions too two different 4k versions but all these versions are the director's cut version so that's more complex but you can mix and match now i i don't create a separate folder if i wanted multiple versions i'd put them in the same folder or multiple versions with one as an addition in the same folder and again that's a plex pass feature so let me bring up my file structure okay so this is versioning same movie different resolutions um let's go into my main movie library let's do the hitchhiker so i have the one folder structure that i'm adding the source id to i don't really need to add the source id to the file name but i do that just for the heck of it so here's the plain version of the hitchhiker and here's the remastered version and there's a subtitle that goes along with the re remastered version even though there's embedded subtitles in the folder so this is versioning and additions in the same folder if i go into the brain that wouldn't die this is just an example of versioning different versions of the same movie they happen to be um, all 1080p versions but you'll see that um, this one here has two channel aac audio and this one has two channel flak audio and of course there's a different subtitle um, type for each this has a srt and this is using the idx and sub version of a subtitle let's see the royal wedding folder so here's a 1080p h265 two channel version with embedded subtitles and here's an h265 version with an external subtitle uh, well actually here it is with two external subtitles a hearing impaired and a default one and then there's an addition in this folder also which happens to be 480p with embedded subtitles so these two will scan as one poster this will scan as a separate poster because it has the addition tag and i have a plex pass pot of gold there is two versions both 1080p x264 um, one with embedded english subtitles and because the file size is larger it's got a higher bit rate than this one lady frankenstein the 720p and the 1080p version Blue Steel is all by itself. And Big Buck Bunny has the two versions. Now in the 4K folder, there's actually two versions of this and just one of that. And you'll see I've got 2160p using the versioning um, formula with my file names. So I could change this and add the addition tag like this and add the, the curly braces and inside just type addition dash 4k and if I commit to that Plex will just rename it so let's show you how to do a whole bunch of 4k movies a lot faster than having to rename all the files and rescanning. So I'm in my 4K movie library for this test server, and let's say there were 15 or 50 4K movies in this library. We'll hover over the first one, select that to, um, in the upper left corner, and then you can just click quickly on any place with the po next poster and you can just go down the line clicking everything until you have everything selected so then you can edit it and under the general tab there is an addition section and if i just type 4k and save the changes that tag gets added quickly 
And now if I go back to home, this is all my servers, you'll see that the extra versions disappeared. Now for some reason, it's not going to disappear in my Linux HTTP. Oh, it did. It disappeared nicely here. So that's the simple solution. Even if you have a couple hundred 4K movies, it might take you five minutes to go down and select them all manually to then change that tag by editing all the selected movies at once. Now, the only thing that might be funky is, let's bring this back in. If in that 4K library, you already had an addition like remastered, skip that from this editing step and then go back later. And if this, well, let, let's set this up this way. Let's actually change that tag. So if you're going through 100 4K movies, just don't select the ones that have a tag already. Do all the plain movies, add the 4K tag, and then come back and do these separate. And you can just do 4K remastered, save the changes, and that looks a lot nicer than removing the remastered tag accidentally by including that in the group tagging. I hope, hopefully that makes sense. So let me fix this before I end things. So really that is the quick way to eliminate duplicate movies. And then as you add new movies to your server, you can just add the tag into the file name um, and not worry about it. All right, thanks for watching and happy plexing.